Scorpio. Happy May. I hope you're doing well. Don't panic. <laughs> this is a positive reading. Okay. I'm going to touch upon it, I should say, in a positive manner. There are some negative aspects in here, but I'm going to let, I'm not even going to camp out on that. But I would hope that you'd be using your powers for good in here. Um, okay. We come in with the energy of the death card. Okay, I really think that that is transformation of a lot of unhealthy habits, right? We all have them. Now, we've got the High Priestess, we've got the Knight of Wands, and we've got the Eight of Coins. Okay, your advice in here is the Strength card with the Knight of Cups, and the Outbound card um, is the Moon card. I want to say here, I think that for the majority of you, I'll touch upon this from the career part first. If you really chip away at something, uh, you can be successful in basically anything that you do. It's just going to take a lot of hard work, and I don't think that you have a problem with that, okay? Um, I think, though, the problem is fickleness, not... Um, mm, not that you don't well work well with others. It's just more of a controlled atmosphere. You know what I mean? There's you, you need to breathe some fresh air into there. I think that'll be a different dialogue. Now, there's something going on here between a man and a woman. And I can't tell. We can we can. It's going to fall across the board, which is, you know, a lot of my private readings, I'll do a, a common throw first, no matter what the question is or whoever it is, because I can see a lot of times if people are asking about one area, it usually is never what it is. You know what I mean? It shows up in a different area. It could be something on the home front that's triggering some kind of disaster at work. It can, it, it works like that. So in here, it's going to trickle across your entire life. So it's these are thought patterns. These are processes. These are how we do things. These are uh, the, the need to control when we think we have no control, right? That's really, again, where those hoarding shows come in from. And not that you're a hoarder, but my point is that, you know, we try to hang on to something when we think we have no control over anything. You clearly have, you have control here. I just think that you want to look at your patterns, the things that are not healthy that you're doing, because I think that there's a relationship in here and it, it can be a good relationship, a good solid relationship. But I think that there is a woman who's trying to guide a man, like show him. Uh, and these are energies. That's why I'm saying one is, is lighter and one is a lot, a lot heavier. But there there is a happy medium here. You know what I'm saying? There, there could be if you choose to allow it. Um, I think that someone is trying to really control something, and I think it's an old habit that needs to be let go of. And I think someone else is trying to show someone something, and they, I think that the only way, guys, honestly, that this actually works out in harmony in a relationship is if you, it's just restraint, it's strength, it's, um, It's restraint, I guess, is is how you have to put it. There could be some kind of lover's spat here, some kind of relationship. So it would be a one-on-one -on -one personal. Um, but I, it probably happens, you know, in the job arena too. But sometimes I'll see this a lot when I've got um, – uh, and this is – when I have people that work in authority during the day – you know what I mean? And then they have to go home and it's hard sometimes to switch those gears. Right. So it causes a little bit of an, an upset on the home front. Right. Um, those kind of things. It's that kind of energy, too. OK. Um, I think in careers, if you are trying to rise to a different level, I think that that sits here. Um, and this can be in anything. It can be something as, you know, big as like a the, the film industry or it can be something where you're just trying to up something in your current job okay um now as far as relationships go again i think that there are some of you here i think you're afraid of commitment others of you here i think you're just choosing people that are not commitment material like they're not something is mirroring back to you maybe if, if you're you know, if you, I think you're getting mirrored back to you what you're kind of putting out. You know what I mean? If you're looking for a relationship and you're getting um, a, attracted to people that are not committal, it means there's something in you that's sending out that vibe. And I'm feeling it too. 
but I don't think that it's intentional. I think it might be some kind of wall that you may have put up somewhere. Um, bear with me. Okay, others of you, on the flip side of that, I think that you're not content with just one person. And again, these are just, these are, I mean, it's preference. It's got to be what's important to you, right? Um, I think there's fear of abandonment, too, and I think that that's where that kind of sits around. There's a lot of, um, a lot of varied energies coming from here. Um All right, bullying. <laughs> if you're bullying people, and I don't think it's physical, but I think that you're, I think you may be doing that uh, either consciously or unconsciously in relationships. I don't feel it's intentional. I really don't. I think it's just a pattern, though, that's got to go. It's some kind of self-protective mechanism that's not going to get you, it's not going to get you what you need here. Um, now, again, there are lust factors in here. Yes, there are. Um, vulnerability factors in here, yes. I think that you've got a lot of, uh, Scorpio is all, I mean, it's, it's a very misconstrued house. It, it, it's not even, a, I'm going to touch on, on the house in and of itself. Libra house is very, it, Libra house is the house of sex, right? I my personal how I, I how I see this because it's the coming together of relationships right eighth house is afterwards that's the vulnerability of it you know what I mean so it's that dynamic in here it's how much do I now I have to expose myself right I think you've got a lot of fifth house pleasures in here right um sixth house dis-ease right because whatever you're doing in your fifth house you're bringing to your sixth house so that's how your day-to-day -day is going to be it's either going to be calm or chaotic Right. Then that goes over into your relationships of all kinds. And these are the patterns that I think you're breaking. The restlessness, the the dis-ease, the not balance, the need for control, the, um, you know, the, the, the sexual, sensual energies and then the feeling vulnerable. You know what I mean? It's, it's all of that in here. That's a lot, you know, and then you've got with the moon card on the outbound, you've got. You know, that's a very cancer card, and I just did their reading. It's getting back to basics. It's getting away from things that, uh, you know, exactly kind of getting away from chaotic situations. So um, watch their reading. They may pertain to you in some way, too. I think this is a great reading. I think what you're doing, though, is you're with the Knight of, of Wands there. He's forever on the move. He is our, our, you know, excuse me, but he's our chew and screw knight. He's, he's just, he's on the go. He's on the go with the next greatest thing. But what he doesn't realize is that when he stops long enough and actually puts the effort into something, there's much more reward in dropping anchor than keep, you know, tidbits here and tidbits there. It's, but it's preference. It's whatever you're choosing. But your advice in here with the strength card and the knight of cups is to, uh, kind of do things more in a, a balanced way. You know what I mean? You've got to get your, how do I say, you've got to get your priorities straight, so to speak, more in the line of, um, you know, what feeds what, your upper, you know, your, you've got to balance your, your spiritual and your material kind of life there. I don't feel it's the lust card, so to speak, so much as it is about control. You know what I mean? It's about just control, laser focus. When I say that, though, I mean just being being present. I don't mean you need to laser focus. In a career arena, yeah, that eight of cups, that's one, the eight of coins, that's one of the, the, um, the very successful cards. It's one of the, like the millionaire's card, or it's one of the highly fortunate fortune cards financially. But... You know, your advice here is to take a little bit of a lighter approach here with the Strength card and the Knight of Cups and just enjoy things. Keep things a little bit lighter and give give uh, give your life some room to breathe here. You know, the Strength card, too, is a card of just... Um, mm, how do I say? Um...
I think it's more about how do I it's more about finding a place for your external rage, external control. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not so much about external strength as it is about internal strength. So kind of harness that, more the internal strength. I don't think the, the outside is, I don't think it's a, a brute force kind of deal here. I think it's just finding more peace within yourself. And that's what the strength card is about. You know what I mean? She's trying to close his mouth so that he can, uh, you know that you're safe. You've done the work. You've, you've, you know, you're not going to starve through the winter. That's what the strength card is really about, right? It's about, I've done the work here and now I'm safe. Now I'm protected. That's, that's what it is. It's all my faculties are going in the right row. My, my priorities are straight. Okay. That's what this reading is about. I hope that I helped you in some way. I'm going to keep these short. This is just about getting your ducks in your row, figuring out what you really want and realizing the value of the people around you. And, um, reciprocity. It's got to be give and take. You know what I mean? Um, so that's what I feel. It's it's really a melding of a lot of, um, I feel, masculine energy very, very strongly in here. But I also feel feminine energy, too, in here. And I think that, you know, the death card and um, the high priestess there, that's a great combination. That's a great combination if you can anchor it if you can get on the same page. Okay, so there you go. I hope that I helped you in some way. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you with anything. Okay, thank you so much.